Hello, my name's Luke Hebbs and I'm from RLR UK. Welcome to my fourth video demonstration of Trustee's Rapport, showing you how it combats spyware on your machine. In this fourth video demonstration, I will show you that Rapport blocks screen capture and keylogging on protected websites when we're using the anti-keylogger test tool. So let's start that up straight away. Now on this machine at the moment, I do have Rapport installed, the latest version of Rapport, and this is actually a Windows Service Pack 3 uh, machine with Internet Explorer 8 on it. So let's start up Internet Explorer. So here we're on the Google front page to start with. Now this uh, tool, the um, AKLT tool, has several different methods of actually logging keystrokes and two different methods of taking screenshots. So look at the screenshots first. Uh, the first me method of taking a screenshot is simply by programmatically pushing the keyboard print screen keystroke. Okay, so there we'll do that straight away with the Google page up here. So we've done that, hopefully successfully called the print screen key, and there we are. We've managed to capture a, a screenshot uh, with Google up there. So we'll kill that. Now we'll try the second method, which is using an alternative API to actually take the screenshot. And it will save to the desktop. So the screenshot has successfully been saved. Now we'll open it. And there we are. Again, we've actually taken the screenshot there. Now you can see from the browser that, uh, and by the grey Trustier logo in the address bar, that Trustier is installed, but it is not protecting the Google website because they're not a partner site. Now let's open up um, a partner site of one of Trustee's partners. So we'll go to HSBC and we'll choose their log on to personal internet banking page. So here we've got their internet banking site. The uh, image isn't coming up there for some reason. Um, but here we would input our banking user ID. Now obviously this would be a, uh, a very big problem if somebody were able to capture the screen while we were actually typing our user ID in. So let's have a look at what happens now if I try and take a screenshot with the HSBC page um, up and running. So again, we'll try um, the first method, which is effectively programmatically pressing the print screen button. Watch what happens with Rapport. So we press that, and immediately Rapport comes up and says, the captured screen may contain sensitive information from HSBC. Okay, a print screen attempted. Now we can choose, the user can now choose whether to allow or block it. Now if you actually press the print screen button on your keyboard and you wanted to save this, then you could allow it. However, if you didn't do this, and this, was, this had been done programmatically, of course we can then choose to block. So if we choose to block it and now open that up, you'll see that there is nothing there. Okay, it did actually block the um, screen capture. Okay, so let's try the second method then by calling the API to see if we can actually um, take a screenshot sneakily in the background effectively. So we'll do that and it says screenshot has been saved successfully. Okay, you want to get it to open it up and it's completely black. Rapport has actually blocked the screen capture. So the, um, the testing tool thinks that it's managed to capture the screen but it's captured a completely black screen. Notice it's not just the web browser that's been um, hidden here, it's the entire desktop comes out as black. Okay, so that's how it behaves against, let's kill this here and go back to the, um, go back to the main page. Uh, it successfully blocks screenshots. Okay, what about key logging? Okay, so let's have a look at some of the key logging then. So we'll do, we'll choose the first one then. Okay, so the get key state, Windows API, uh, monitoring the keyboard. Okay, it's going to poll every 10 milliseconds, so it may miss some of our key presses. So we'll start that up, and now I'll type in HSBC Internet Banking. And you can see in the background there that uh, it has actually it's brought it all up. Okay, we've missed a the key there, and that's again because I was typing a little bit too quickly for it. But let's um, open up the HSBC site and see what happens now. now you should be able to see this um, in the side while I type this in. 
If you can't read what it says here on the actual HSBC page, it says, Welcome. Input Internet Banking User ID, e.g. IB12345678900. So we're going to use exactly that as the test scenario. Okay, so we'll type in IB12345678900. Hopefully, you can see that that's actually come out as, well, okay, it's missed the first two characters again, but it's come out as CDEFGHIJKL. Okay, if, I'm to, if I go to the logon part, again, rapport says that it's identified a user ID submission. Do I want to actually protect this? Uh, I'll say yes there now. The point of doing that is that if I now enter the same user ID into a different site, say a phishing site, then rapport will actually detect that and warn me that it isn't the same site that I normally use it on. Okay, so it's an anti-phishing check. Now here I'm asked to enter um, a date of birth, so I'm going to make one up here. But again, watch the leak testing tool in the background. So I'm going to write do the 12th of the 3rd, 64. So 1, 2, 0, 3, 6, 4. And again, that comes out as A, B, C, D, E, F in the tool. My security number, so the first, second, and fourth digits of the security number, again, I'm just going to make these up and say 1, 2, and 4. So 1, 2, and 4. And if we switch to the tester down here, they've come out as A, B, and F. So we are successfully blocking keystrokes uh, with this first method. I go back to Google uh, main again, and I'll stop that. Now, there are lots of different ways of actually um, monitoring the keyboard, and actually none of them work with rapport. But I will show you a couple of others. So what we'll do is we'll try a direct text method, um, and we'll again go back, HSBC. Oh, I mistyped that. But we can go in anyway to their site, and we should still see if we go to their um, personal internet banking and log on. You can see that in the background it is it is still picked up um, what I typed into Google. But now again, if I type in the same thing again, so I B one two three four five six seven eight nine zero. That comes out as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. And again, the same thing would happen if I go through the, through the logon process. If I log on again, though, now you'll notice that Rapport doesn't come up and ask me whether I want to protect this user ID anymore. It already knows about it. OK, so again, we can go back to Google. We'll stop that attack. We'll look at the low-level hook, so a low-level keyboard hook now as well, and see what happens there. So HSBC, I'll try and type it correctly this time. Okay, a bit better typing that time. And we'll go back. Again, you can see in the background that the um, testing tool has picked that up. And we'll go through and do I, B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Again, A to L. The fact, by the way, that I'm typing in B and it comes out as a B in the leak testing tool is purely coincidence. It's because I'm typing B as the second character, and B is the second character of the alphabet. Okay, we'll just do them alphabetically. So once again, we've protected that there. We'll just do a final test by looking at the raw uh, key logging data. Okay, so we'll get the raw input data here. And again, you should see that it brings this up with no problem to start with. But... If I actually go to the HSBC page and start typing in IB12345678900, again, we get the standard A to L. So that's the end of my demonstration of the um, leak testing tool here. You can see that actually it isn't successful. It isn't able to um, keylog or perform a screenshot in this setup.